So Somalia currently is at the stage where Kenya was, or Nairobi was in 2010, when I have was founded. And like everything is fragmented. That was 2017 when we founded, but right now, they, everybody, like people know, anyone who actually wants to start a startup, they know where to go to. Hi, uh, my name is Al Osman, I'm the CEO of YOS Hub. Um, uh, my background, uh, I have a bachelor's degree in computer science. Um, I currently study my master's degree in um, entrepreneurship and innovation management. I've worked in Kenya uh, and also like co-founded uh, startups in, 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 in both uh, Kenya and also like Somalia. IRS Hub is a, a business incubator that is based in Mogadishu. It was uh, founded in, in the year 2017. Um, the main purpose that uh, IRS Hub was uh, um, built or, or, or founded was uh, to support uh, the tech ecosystem in Somalia, uh, which by then was not uh, existing or it was uh, uh, very fragile and, or completely not existing at all. And the idea came around, uh, there's a lot of diasporas uh, that are coming back to the country uh, to support the local economy and also at the same time the local youth who are graduating from the universities didn't have a place where they can actually go and get the support they actually need when they're building uh, solutions and they're building uh, startups. So um, IRS Hub is a business incubator, so uh, IRS Hub currently offers uh, business development services for entrepreneurs and then we also like, have a co-working uh, space and on top of that uh, we have uh, local part partnerships with uh, local private banks that offer um, investments, uh, seed capital to startups. So once they go through our incubator, they have a chance of uh, getting investment, seed capital from the, from the banks. Currently, IRS Hub has a, a, as an incubator, we have a, a program uh, called Kobe'iye, which is a Somali word for nurturing uh, or incubating at the same time. Uh, so it is a three month to six month program that uh, the startups actually go through once they actually come on board, whether the idea stage or at the growth stage, and then they get uh, all the services they actually need until now they are able to actually graduate and join the accelerator program for IRS Hub. So the Cobre program is a, uh, our, our main uh, program and uh, the qualification is for startups that are at the early stage, uh, idea stage, early stage, uh, growth and those who want to scale. Um, we usually do like a core publication and we have uh, at least four cohorts within one year and all of them actually join uh, once uh, we do the core publication on our uh, uh, social accounts and also like on our phone. So uh, currently the startups that come on board our, 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 our incubator, the Copia uh, incubation program, they do not have a specific sector, but uh, they can come from the agriculture sector, health, education, they can be based on any um, uh, and, and, uh, sector, so they're not uh, sector specific. So the uh, Copia program um, uh, has is like a three month uh, to six months long program depending on uh, the support that startups actually need. Uh, on top of that, um, uh, we do the call for application and then now we assess each and every startup when they come on board to make sure that we know that uh, they have the right team, they are diverse, they have uh, also like you know, uh, right mentality for them to actually continue to in the program. So we have our own um, entrepreneurship coach and mentors that are part of the program and that helps us for them to actually uh, do the training in groups and I'll send them also like one-on-one. -on -one. Currently since 2017 we had like more than 20 startups that actually graduated from our, our, our business incubator. Uh, 
uh, one of them is uh, the first uh, food delivery startup uh, graduated in um, January 2018 and uh, they were able to like, you know, like deliver the food and also like do errands for the residents in Mogadishu. And currently, uh, uh, last year, they also raised an extra round on investment from another accelerator program within the country, and they, like, they raised like $10,000. The other one uh, is uh, we have a startup that uh, recently graduated from our program. Uh, it's like all female founded. So they, it's like a cosmetic uh, startup, uh, they're in the cosmetic industry. So uh, all the three of them, so they came up with a way, uh, they came up with um, like cosmetic products that are made organically from the f farm produces within 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 uh, the surrounding areas of Mogadishu, and now they're actually selling it and they're making a lot of sales. And uh, they also won the Mogadishu Tech Summit uh, um, pitching pitching competition last year, and uh, they won five thousand uh, dollars prize. Uh, so uh, currently, the, the 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 Somalia startup ecosystem is like really very young and uh, and at early stage. Um, and technically, we were the first um, uh, business with beta in Mogadishu. So that means now we're really very young. So that was like 2017. But now there are couple uh, several uh, business with betas that are coming, uh, popping up around uh, the country. That's like uh, Mogadishu, uh, Garowe, Hargeisa. Um, when it comes to the support that uh, uh, startups get, or like, you know, like SMEs get, like also that's all very young. So like we are pioneering also that one to make sure that uh, people actually understand the startup tech ecosystem and the the, the, the need their needs. And so um, as as, an, as, the, as the first um, uh, tech hub, we are pioneering or make sure that anyone who's trying to get into the market uh, goes through us. So we become like we become. So our, 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 our vision is to be the gateway for, uh, for Somalia when it comes to uh, the, the growth of the tech ecosystem. Um, uh, so Somalia currently is at the stage where Kenya was, or Nairobi was in 2010, when I have was founded. And like everything is fragmented. That was 2017 when we founded, but right now, they, everybody, like people know, anyone who actually wants to start a startup, they know where to go to, they know who to talk to. And uh, a lot of people actually approach us and, and tell us, you know, like when they want to start that business, uh, uh, either a startup or a brick and mortar. Where do I start from? So they we, and then we can actually guide them to us, like what to do and where to go to. So that means now since we co-founded, uh, we founded iOS, and up to now, it's a, it's been a great uh, uh, change. And so, so to accelerate that and to say move at a bigger base than how Kenya moved, the, the tech ecosystem moved. We have the, the Mogadishu Tech Summit, which brings together uh, uh, innovators, uh, business people, uh, policy makers across the globe for a three-day summit, and that also help us to gauge where we are now and to make sure that you know people know what's going on in Somalia, so that people who are actually interested, whether you're a government, whether you're an NGO, whether you're like another startup, uh, a way you can actually join. The future is bright, and. Uh, we are looking from the perspective of Kenya, uh, for them to be a, a global or regional leader, it took them like 10 years. So for us, we're looking at uh, cutting that into half, maybe in five years, making sure that you know, uh, Somalia uh, becomes a global leader when it comes to uh, tech and innovation. <laughs>